Right. Cloudy evening in Cannock Chase. Today, after a bit of a break, after last crash, the plan is to check the tractor trails truck and uh, tractor trails truck. Tractor truck. Tractor trucks <laughs> trail and a step up trail and a few others around the dock. So let's see how it goes. I'm wearing a, a vest today, which I invested in after the last crash. The bloody aching weeks. So hope we won't have to test it today. Also, I have a GoPro seven black now because that cheap GoPro knock knock of that's just a waste of time really yeah so there is everything is around the dog so it starts with a cardiac hill climb it's actually started looking there's gonna be an event for the Commonwealth next year I think the bar will start opened 9th of September I'm gonna get some tickets and have a peek maybe they start to build some new stuff for it that'll be interesting so hope the angle is going to be good for experimenting today but I won't be f***ing around and stopping every minute to check things so if it's good it's good if not I'm gonna skip the gap jump still today. Just don't wanna start with it. Can injury again. I'm sure this is well doable, but just not today. This is always bloody wet, isn't it? Seems like it. Oh, this is awesome. It's definitely the best track around the dog. It's awesome. No other words for it. Yeah, thanks to whoever built this, because this is great. <laughs> Deserves the recognition. <sighs> yeah, it's just awesome. It really is. For the guys from uh, traders don't pay bills i've managed to find it based on some of the clues in their videos it's close to giving up there will be no climbing music today it just takes too much time straight to action uh, i just talked quickly about the sort of do's and don'ts with this YouTubing of those trails that are supposed to be hidden. I think there's a fine line between just clustering 
you know all of those clues in YouTube videos where they are and how to get to them but on the other hand whoever built this want people to ride it so I mean at the end of the day you you're responsible for your own actions if you attempting something you shouldn't then it's your fault he says oh, I'll crash in a sec <laughs> right as I'm riding this blind it's going to be slow so I'm warning you and it's got some features on it I like this which I'm not going to attempt or this riding with my colleagues again on Saturday just contemplating whether to take them here or not or is it too much But this is definitely the trail, which is good news. Oh my god, that's some out of shape. I'm touching my breath on e bike. Let's something. Ah. Yeah, no brakes, that's the part. <laughs> Yeah, this proper speed, you can't case this really. He says. I'll try this after riding a few more trails, I think. Yeah. Okay, be doable. Yeah. Hiya, alright. I don't fancy this today. Sorry? No, no, it's alright. No, I'm just riding the first time. Just checking out what's here. But it's awesome. Very good one. Yeah, yeah. Just come off the injury, just don't fancy sitting again, so <laughs> have fun. Got a lot more features on this one than the other one. Ooh. Do I fancy this? No, not today. Chicken run. Yeah. That just might be too big for me still, to be honest. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna take them on this one. This one's more difficult. Definitely the other tractor tracks. A few bigger jumps. Definitely bigger than the tractor tracks. It's awesome. I don't want them to get injured. <sighs> too much cake and ice cream. Oh. So, what am I going for now? I think it's at the edge of the... Well, Chase to be honest. It's probably going to be called the edge. Yeah, so I'm heading towards... Uh, Breeze the trees. Honestly, without the e-bike. It's so much less downhill. It's just... Transform the riding for me. Uh, do I 
fancy this. This is going to be overdrawn. Uh, let's try it. Respect to the tracks, don't pay bills, guys. But yeah, it's just, yeah, it's, it isn't fun at all. Should be fine in the winter. Oh, it is better. This is better, not better. Oh, there's some cows. Hello, cows. That's what I like about this. She's a man, man and the nature. And his machine obviously. And <coughs> ten thousand pieces of kit. Yeah you can bloody hit yourself on those stumps or oh, well, people did. Really, that first bit that was overgrown. This is right. And flat out here, I assume. Yeah. Nice. Again, perfect weather for it. Dry, but not too dry. Temperature-wise, perfect. 17 degrees, I think. Perfect conditions. This is going to be definitely a shorter video. The other one, I still haven't finished it. I think I just got a couple of sensor beeps to put where I'm sweating. I swear a lot because I'm riding like a what? Maybe a test which words are considered offensive by YouTube. Maybe twat is okay. Dave has been posting his videos talking about Dave Gen V. I can't even remember how I found this channel, but I think it's just an inspiration, really. Meant to be, you know, oh, I'm a clown, I'm crashing left, right, and center. But credit to him, he's, he's progressed a lot and he just got the balls to do it. Well, sometimes I think I could do it, I just don't have the balls because I'm just seeing myself, you know, plastered all over that tree. I'm not talking the big stuff, I'm talking about stuff that's you know doable by a mortal human being. You know, I don't want to be next to like some pilgrim or somebody like that. Don't get me wrong, I just want to enjoy my riding. A part of it is the the adrenaline unfortunately so I think most is it, most mountain bikers are adrenal junkies and I am too so something stupid that's what I'm going to call it Alright, 
Ja. Efter det. <laughs> yeah, this is a great alternative to the dog. If you think of the dog, this is a lot better. Take it easy today. I don't want to crash. I don't want to bruise the shoulder again. I must have bruised the bone. But it's healing so slowly. It's ridiculous. That's what happens to me, 40 years old man, and maybe taking on extreme sports. Like they say, the, I think the injuries are just part of it. There's no denying you're going to crash sooner or later. You're gonna hurt yourself. Is this how bad? That's the question. But this truck just proves it doesn't have to be extreme to be enjoyable. This is so much fun and there's hardly anything that difficult on it. The, it's, the bit that's coming, it's a bit... It's like a... off camber turn and a stump is gonna rest your leg on. Again, on YouTube it doesn't look like anything. But in reality... It's a slightly different story. It's actually here. Yeah, you can really hurt yourself on the stump, that's for sure. next to the dog can't really miss it and this is again so much more fun I'm gonna take them here because the only bit that is dodgy it's that off camber turn with the stump on this is a bit but yeah you can come up here but just do it slowly and be fine Yeah, this is so much fun. This is another advantage of e-bike. When you need the power, you just do a few pedal strokes and you know, you can jump up the hill. Mark, there's one jump on the dog. It's up the hill. I would never be uh, able to jump it on the normal bike. Just don't have the stamina to pedal so, so quick after a turn to be able to lift yourself off. And here you just you know, step on it and power is there straight away. Riding oh, in the right gear, obviously. But most of the time, it doesn't matter which gear you're in. It's just for 
humidity of the components really drives through mainly. <laughs> 